everybody welcome back to epic beauty fail i'm jessica on today's video i'm doing day four of my april five days of foundation and today i'm going to be using a cream foundation this is the rcma or the research council of makeup artists if you're not familiar this is their color process foundation it's a little pot it, i did pur purchase this on beautylish you can get uh, rcma on beautylish now i will say um this is actually the last video i'm filming this month i'm a little concerned with the color shade um i did get the color porcelain and i'm afraid it might be a little bit too pale for me so we will see once I get it on my skin. I did swatch it on my hand and it did seem a little too pale. Um, but I do have some bronzer. I will bronze up if I have to. Um, not that I really know how to bronze, but I can try. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do this. I'm actually filming this on Tuesday and it's supposed to post on Thursday. So hopefully I've made it. If you're watching this on Thursday, then I, I made it on time. Um, but I am going to be using this today. Uh, I don't normally wear makeup to work, but uh, I am going to be only there for uh, a little bit over half the day today. I have some appointments this afternoon that I'm going to. So um, I won't be in the office at least for eight hours. So I probably will have this on for nine or 10 hours today, uh, which is a little bit longer than I normally wear the foundations during a foundation review. Um, but at least they won't all be in the office. So we shall see. I'm going to go to the RCMA makeup website and read you a little bit about this product. So this is the Color Process Foundation. It says RCMA's cream foundations have been one of the staples in professional makeup artists' cases for half a century. Artists love our highly pigmented foundations for their versatility, whether you need full coverage or a natural look, whether you're working on HD film or theatrical stage, build them up or shear them down, RCMA is perfect for any occasion. And with our vast array of shades and tones, there's an RCMA foundation for everyone. So there are, there definitely are a wide range of foundations on this a lot like i'm i'm scrolling through here and you know you've got all different shades on the website here so um that looks like it's all the information they have on their website i guess yeah i think that's that's all the information they have on their website. So anyway, I wanted to give this a try. I've you know heard that RCMA is definitely for professional makeup artists. I have their no color powder, which I will be using today if necessary. Um, I am going to be putting this on my face with my Flower Beauty sponge and my Makeup Geek. This is my foundation stippling brush. I will use the sponge on the right side or your left and the uh, brush on this side. So let's go ahead and get started. I am already uh, washed, moisturized, and primed. Uh, I use Use the typical stuff that I normally use, um, the professional on the center part of my face, my, the It Cosmetics serum primer on the outside of my face, and then the uh, Pixi Milky Mist on the rest of my face just as a um, starter and then moisturized as well. So I'm going to go ahead in with my Flower Beauty sponge and see how much I'm going to be able to pick up on this. It doesn't... Mm doesn't appear to be working very well <laughs> with the sponge which is fine I can go in just with the brush it's picking up a little bit of product but not a lot so I'm just gonna give up on the sponge that's fine I am limited for time today so I am gonna go in just with the brush I'm having a hard time with this too let's see there we go yeah that's definitely <laughs> that's definitely very pale I'm gonna try to shear that out if you are a very pale, pale person, here is a shade for you right there. Uh, I'm after doing a lot of bronzing and this is why I've waited on this foundation till the very end. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. I just don't. I mean, <laughs> look at me. I look like a ghost. I have my butter bronzer here. I'm going to try to bronze this up. Uh, 
Okay, guys. <laughs> I think this is a total fail. I can't wear this. I just, I can't wear this to work today. Um, I, I look like a ghost and, and I can't wear this. So I'm going to call it. Um, even like I, this is the light bronzer. So it's not even like a dark bronzer. I tried to warm up my face and I think I did a pretty good job, but I still look, I, I still look like a floating head. I, I can't, I can't wear this to, to work today. So yeah. Yeah. I give up. Uh, I'm calling this video now and I if I had another foundation I have several foundations sitting on my table in front of me but none of them are like a cream foundation they're all just a liquid or stick or powder so I think I'm just gonna call this one I'm really sorry guys I would love to give you a review on this but this color is not not gonna work for me at all um, I might revisit this sometime in the future, but I, I can't go to work like this. So I guess that's my video for the day. I'm really sorry. Um, I do have two more videos coming on Friday and I do have a bonus video on Saturday. So stay tuned for those. Um, but this is, this is an epic beauty fail. <laughs> And it happens sometimes, but I can't, I can't go to work like this. So I'm going to call it. I would uh, recommend if you try this foundation to do a little bit more research than I did. I usually just buy the lightest shade, but RCMA has such a wide range of foundations that are colors in their foundation that, um, yeah, I, I can't wear this today. So anyway, I'm going to call it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know. Not all my videos are this bad. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. All right. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.